All right, I got some titanium pipe tubing, whatever. It's uh, about a 045 thickness, okay? And I'm just taking regular tin snips and cutting it. It's not the easiest thing to cut, but it does cut it. And I'm not gonna use a grinder or a saw. Saw would not work real well either. So a uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel would work, but I don't like to make sparks of this stuff. So I'm going to just cut this around and make a little piece and then flatten it out. Okay, there's my piece cut off. All right, it's about an inch wide and about six and a half inches in length. You know, considering that this is cut, it's about six and a half inches. So that's how many cubic or how many square inches of this I have. So about six, six and a half square inches. And now I'm going to flatten it out with a hammer. And then I'm going to clean the surface with a flapper wheel. And get this all nice and clean so it'll conduct electricity nice. Okay, I got this more or less flat. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's nice about this project. It, nothing fancy. You can make it perfect. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Got the 045 thickness. Little piece of this stuff. It's a little weird to work with. But it's very workable. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend it like I bent my first one. Just in, a, in, a, in the center. And it'll straighten it out. I'll just put it in the vise and hammer it over. It'll take up less space. Okay, there it is. Cleaned. And bent. So like I said, I just bent it to fit it down in the tube. It'll take up less space in there. So, no other reason. Now I'm going to drill a small hole up in here so that I can put a bolt through and have an electrical connection. So, one thing to remember is drillings, grindings, cuttings can uh, oxidize pretty quickly. So you want to do this outside and on the ground where the drillings can go on the ground, not in a pile of sawdust in your shop. Okay, they can oxidize and turn white hot and ignite from the oxygen in the air. So, precaution. Drill outside, grind outside, sand outside. Okay, it's important. Okay, I heated up and squished the end of it here. I put some epoxy down in so that it's laying in the bottom. Put a little tape on there so it didn't fall out. So the epoxy is setting up right now. As soon as it does then I can cut this at a point. So it'll have a point this way and a point this way. And then I'll fill it up with sand up to my mark and epoxy that so that the sand stays in that'll give it some downward momentum going into the well okay before I use the heat shrink I put some of this all around all the wires on the outside sheath and all around here to make sure that it was enameled and in case this would leak you still have that enamel layer on there to keep the wires from touching the water or the water touching the wires however you want to look at it you can see there's some squeeze out of that glue that comes inside this marine grade heat shrink 
so it's it's definitely sealed up there and there now I'm gonna wait till this cools off and this is all done setting up then I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy this whole thing up through here and make sure that it's good and sealed and supported and then I'll tape over that just to keep the whole thing together and tight and then we'll go ahead and put it in the piece that I have here which is ready to go except for holes it's got sand in it but the sand don't come out because I epoxied it so there's some weight to it I'll have to drill a bunch of holes in here I'll show you that after I get done with it but this is just about ready to go in I do a little bit more prepping, prepping on that seal. I want to make sure that's a hundred and ten percent. Got to drill some holes. Just got to keep on drilling. Okay, the reason for the sand, in case you didn't realize it, is so that the pointy end is heavier, and it wants to always go down and it'll face downward and that way it doesn't get flopped around when you're dropping it down in the well and get caught on something it's heavier this way and it, it's going to want to go straight down into the well okay just got to drill a whole bunch of holes Just like that you keep on making a bunch of holes don't cut into the sand <laughs> this is the easiest way I know to clean out the holes if you reach in and angle it you get the inside and if you angle it out here you get the outside should be able to get all the little shreds off of there. You want them out so they don't go into your drinking water. You should be able to get them pretty clean. Okay, this is uh, ready to go in. You can see epoxy. I went up past the first knuckle there, and there's two more joints. These are that marine grade shrink heat shrink tubing so I got it uh, sealed up real real good I cleaned underneath there and wiped her down with alcohol and then put the epoxy over top of that so now there's three layers of protection the enamel over top of the connection itself then the heat shrink tubing which we saw oozed out the glue and sealed then this epoxy over top of it so I'll probably just wrap this with a couple wraps of uh, electrical tape just keep it from getting scuffed up and have a hole in it or something a little protection but it's ready to go in the tube It'll go down in here and then we'll kink this so that they can't come back up out. We'll be in good shape. Good shape. We're on. And that's oh pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Alright, we can see it going in. And uh, dropping down in. Okay. Let me get uh, this stopped and we'll get some tape on. Okay.